Hey cruisers, we are huge proponents of keeping your packing game on point, but sometimes it's more important to know what not to pack. Are you wondering what you should leave behind on your next cruise? We get this question from time to time and we thought we'd have a little fun with this serious but often funny topic and maybe hook you up with some tips to keep you embarrassment free on your next sailing. But first, you've probably heard us say, know your ship before you cruise. That way you'll know what to expect and will be less likely to miss out on anything. But how do you get to know your ship? One of the best ways we know is cruiseline.com. This episode is sponsored by cruiseline.com and that's where you can find reviews, photos, and tips from real verified, yes, they actually verify, everyday cruisers who may or may not have packed a few forbidden items on their cruises too. All right, let's get going with number one. Pretty much anything that could pose a fire hazard. Fire is the biggest danger on any ship, so it's best to leave anything flamey behind. That includes stuff like candles and incense, but it also includes things that could potentially start a fire. Just ask Jennifer, one of our subscribers, who bought a power strip at a port on her Alaskan cruise, but Ugh, had it confiscated, never to be seen again. Most cruise lines still allow power strips, multi-plug box outlets or adapters, and extension cords without surge protectors, but double check your cruise line's prohibited items policy just to be sure. Nowadays, we try to use a USB charging hub to avoid this issue. Now, how about heating pads? Our subscriber Poppy says that's a nope as well. <laughs> Number two, beer and booze. Now, before you get too bummed, you should know that depending on your cruise line, you can probably take a bottle or two of wine or champagne on board, but the cruise lines want you to leave the beer and hard liquor at home. As evidenced by our subscribers, this is a pretty common mistake, especially if you're blatantly obvious about it. Foodie Karen's hubby and our reviewer Poppy both caught their mini booze bottles locked up in the booze pokey for the duration of their cruise. Of course, people do get away with it. In fact, Cindy J. Andrews on Instagram saw a guy smuggle quite a bit of booze under his Scottish kilt. Just saying. <laughs> Number three, handcuffs. Yep. I'm being serious. More than once, we've heard of cruisers packing handcuffs for their Halloween costume party on board, only to be called to the confiscation room on a cruise, also known as the naughty room. Uh, yeah, you might wanna leave the cuffs in the costume box back home. All right, number four, irons and steamers. I know, I know, nobody wants to wear a wrinkly dress shirt that's just been schlepped on a cross-country flight, but this one falls into the fire hazard category once again. So yeah, most cruisers are stuck ironing in the ship's self-serve laundry room, if they even have one, paying to have your clothes pressed, using wrinkle spray, or if you're like us, resorting to the old steamy shower trick. Vegan cruiser and Miss Diva Divine said they saw entire rows full of full-size irons being confiscated on their cruises. So don't even bother with that space sucker, folks. A good rule of thumb is if it has a heating element, don't pack it. Number five, speaking of stuff with plugs, appliances like toasters and coffee pots are frowned upon too. True story, people. I am not making this stuff up. Kimber LC on Instagram told us she recently saw a Nutribullet blender waiting to be claimed. I must confess though, the bring your own coffee pot idea has crossed my mind on way more than one occasion. I mean, have you ever tasted a cruise ship buffet coffee? It's not typically gourmet grind. Technically, you could take a coffee press, but hunting for hot water may not be worth it either. Number six, okay, you bored yet? Let's get to the serious stuff. Any type of weapon, whether real or replica, will get confiscated. So leave your nunchucks, your firearms, and your toy guns in the safe at home. And speaking of toy guns, our Instagram follower, Vegan Cruiser, saw some being removed from luggage at the gangway. Now, if your kids pack their own bags, you may wanna check their suitcases before you end up getting into an embarrassing boarding predicament. Oh, and knives or scissors with blades longer than about four inches are a no-go too. Just ask Reese's Candy, whose grandpa got caught with a pocket knife and the ship got delayed. Ah! <laughs> yeah, she pretended she did not know him. Or how about Emily, who saw someone's dad get questioned for having a bullet in his bag after using his hunting bag as a suitcase. Oopsie. <laughs> Number seven, got a hookah? 
Yep, leave it at home. I am not sure what else to say about the hookah, but nope, you can't take it. Number eight, speaking of stuff you smoke, sorry, pot is a non-starter too. Regardless of your state's laws, ships just don't allow marijuana on board. Number nine, you will want to be careful about what other <laughs> recreational stuff you pack too. Hoverboards, Heelys, you know the shoes with wheels, kiddie pools, yes, I said kiddie pools, canoes, Kayaks, surfboards are usually prohibited. Our subscriber Jean told us that bubble machines are now a no-go too. Ah, no shipboard Lawrence Welk action for us. From Hollywood, the one, the only Lawrence Welk and his champagne music. Some of you younger cruisers may have to look that one up. Anyway, well, we hope you have enjoyed this public service announcement on how to avoid cruise humiliation. Special thanks to all of our viewers who submitted their stories. For more information, search your cruise line's prohibited items list before you set sail. We'd love it if you gave this video a big fat thumbs up and please leave your cruise packing no-nos in the comments below. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for loads of updates. Just look for Cruise Tips TV. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas without your handcuffs, preferably. <laughs>